talking about a silent film, a series of silent films that are going to be shown up at the Grand Theater in East Greenville. We have Ed Bushinsky on to uh, talk about that. And, Ed, thanks for the time this morning. Uh, thank you for having me, Daryl. I, I just want you to know, Ed, that as a, a native of Pennsburg and growing up in Pennsburg, on Main Street in Pennsburg, I would walk down the theater. It wasn't known as the Grand Theater then, but the Valley Theater. And uh, a lot of my misspent youth was uh, was spent at the theater there. So. <laughs> I, I never knew that, Daryl. That's great to know. I know we had her speaking several times yeah. um, up at the Grand. I never knew you were in the area. Absolutely. A native okay. of the Upper Perkiomen Valley. Wonderful. You have to be proud of that. Well, tell me about the, uh, tell me about the, uh, the series that is going to kick off this weekend with a, a classic film. Yes, this Sunday at 3 p.m. we are showing the 1927 uh, Fritting, which is considered one of the first science fiction movies ever made, uh, Metropolis, um, which is basically a story of the working class versus city planners and a revolt against the city planners by the working class. Um, It was considered absolutely groundbreaking when it came out in 1927, and we will be showing the U.S. version, which was released by Paramount and MGM, which is only 116 minutes long. The original German version of the film was well over two and a half hours long. I don't know if it was the first, but it, but it certainly was strong social commentary for the time, too. It absolutely was. Yeah. I, I guess there probably were other films that I'm not aware of. I'm not a, not a student of film, necessarily, but Metropolis is an absolute classic. And, and give me some sense because really uh, when we're talking we'll talk about the other films too but but give me a sense for what the experience is going to be like because you're really going to transport people back in time well the whole mission when we opened the grand theater almost 10 years ago was restoring the movie going experience yeah. um, we keep our prices reasonable we don't have um pre-show advertising on our screen um One of the favorite comments I hear from little kids that come into the theater when I'm working is, where's the screen? (laughs) Well, it's it's behind the curtain. They just kind of give you a fun look. Like, we're not used to that. (laughs) (laughs) It is not your multiplex. This is is very much uh, a throwback experience. Yes, yes. Um, But, of course, this being a film, when the Grand originally opened in 1924, the of the theater... Warren Fenstermacher, I don't think you knew him there, um, <laughs> uh, was the conductor of the East Greenville Orchestra. So mm-hmm. as the co-owner of the Grand, the theater would never have a pipe organ installed since he was a musician himself. So it was the six-piece Grand Theater Orchestra which conducted um, the accompaniment for silent films. Wow. And we reopened in 2005. We decided to restore the classic movie experience back as it would be in the 20s. Mm-hmm. Uh, full orchestra is out of the question. Um, we don't have room <laughs> with some of the changes that we've made up front. That may not be part of the business plan there. Exactly. Yeah. Um, but it was much easier, in a sense, to instate theater organ. And our original theater organ was a two-manual six-rank instrument that came out of theater in Chicopee, Massachusetts. Hmm. That debuted in 2009, and in the past five years, we have been working to enlarge that instrument to a three-manual, three-keyboard, 13-rank instrument, and that will be making its debut on Sunday with Metropolis. And, and you've got, uh, is, this, is this John Barretta you got coming in? Yes, Mr. John Barretta has accompanied all of our silent films since 2010. Okay, and he's got quite a pedigree as well, so that, that'll be entertainment on top of entertainment. What are the other two uh, films that are part of the series? Uh, we have coming up on October 19th, Faust, which is a classic, classic story of good versus evil. We always try in October have a, uh, a Halloween-themed uh, film. Mm-hmm. And then in November on the 23rd, we try and lighten things up after being a little bit scary during the month of October, and we have Harold Boyd's Safe Last, which is a 1923 uh, comedy. 
Harold Lloyd, one of the, the great silent film uh, actors, and uh, did an, an incredible job. Most of his own stunts, I guess. And uh, yes, uh, I mean you've got you got an incredible lineup there. Uh, people can find out more at thegrandtheater.org. Thegrandtheater.org, right? Correct. All right, Ed, I appreciate the time. Uh, much good luck with the series. Uh, and again, if you want an experience of going to the theater. Uh, not as it is today with the multiplex and everything, but you want to throw back uh, the Grand Theater on Main Street in East Greenville is a pretty good place to go. Ed, thanks for the time this morning. You're welcome, and I hope to see you Sunday. All right. I'm, well, actually, I'm going to be <laughs> going to be leaving for North Carolina on Saturday, so uh, I, I will not be there. But I, I, certainly, the Harold Lloyd uh, film, I'm, I'm very interested in seeing. So uh, wonderful. We will see you before the series is over. Uh, Ed, good luck. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of your day. Ed Bashinsky joining us on this segment of the AM edition here at WNPV, talking about the silent film series beginning this weekend at the Grand Theater in East Greenville. Right now, 726, we've got traffic and weather together coming up in the moments ahead.